if I just get this next certificate, then I'll be ready. I need BMS qualifications before I apply. No one's ever going to hire me without experience. I'm sure you've all had those thoughts. Um, the truth is certificates aren't what gets electricians, technicians, engineers into the controls automation BMS industry. What does is real world understanding and confidence in that understanding. Now, it's a really common trap for engineers, electricians, te technical people to feel like they need certificates um, because a lot of like the jobs that you see advertised out there, like, oh, you need this qualification, this qualification. I'm not saying that they're not a good idea, but most electricians, engineers, technicians that I speak to, they've got like the fundamental understanding. They've been working in the industry long enough. They've got like practical hands on, but it ke what they've been conditioned to think probably partly from school is that like more qualifications, more certificates, means that they're more successful and more worthy for those positions where that feeling of imposter syndrome reduces where they feel like well i've been through the course the training i've got my certificate that makes me feel better about myself that makes me feel more relevant for the role and capable and the truth is that like most educators they and i'm sure you've all been on on one on some of these courses like you pay to go on a course and it doesn't really matter if you're not engaged it doesn't really matter if you don't understand it you're still going to get a little certificate at the end of it to say that you've been on the training it doesn't actually prove anything it doesn't prove your understanding your your level of knowledge and skill you know what i mean and also if you're from like a gas background electrical background like there's obviously some courses and qualifications that you need to have in terms of being able to operate safely but like the controls automation bms industry is different it's it's not a certificate certificate game it's all about skills knowledge understanding and how you apply that there's no 18th edition there's two there's no 2391 there's no gas safe courses training that you can go on for this it really is a skills game what do you know and can you actually communicate that to people you know showing them giving them confidence that you know what you're talking about and like we've got mountains of evidence of people that have done this where they haven't been on any like official training they haven't got any official certificates you know mo for example seven weeks went from standard domestic electrician to a BMS engineer with no BMS certificates. Um, Matt, he, he we worked with him for 12 weeks and he went from like just a service engineer to them being able to deliver control and automation projects, you know, with no official control and automation qualifications. Because really what matters is, yeah, some certificates, qualifications are gonna get you noticed, like in terms of your CV, get that initial attention, but that's not the thing that stands out. Like if you've got your certificates at the bottom of your CV, it's going to be noted, but it's not going to be the deciding factor. There's so many other things that factor into a CV that actually get people's attention and prompts them to take action in giving you a call. Like hiring managers in this game, they don't really ask for certificates. What they are looking for is, you know, do you understand schematics? Do you have a good understanding of control logic can you fault find this panel are you confident in explaining your reasoning for tracing through this fault and coming to the conclusion that you get to can you walk me through that because what's going to happen is let's say that you have we're talking specifically with a career example here let's say that you you write a cv in a right way and it gets it gets attention you get some feed you get some initial contact from hiring managers or well, and let's say that you make it through the first conversation they invite you for an interview what they're going to do to assess where you're at in terms of your understanding is they're going to set you real world examples um like here's a schematic um in this and we set these types of scenarios in in the training and the program that we do to start preparing people not only for interviews but for actual real 
world scenarios that happen on site. So whether you are doing this as an employee or you know a self-employed contractor business owner, you're prepared. But it's like things like, right, so here's a schematic. Let's just imagine that you get on site and the customer is asking you to modify the system to add this additional e-stop in, but like 20 meters away in the reception area, you know, from, from where the plant room is. But how would you go about installing that? Because most people can do the installation, the cable pulling, all of that. That's easy. But how would they go about modifying the system? So adding this additional um, e-stop in is not going to break what's already in place and integrate smoothly with the same operation. That's really what they want to understand. And can you walk them through that or your logical thinking, your decision-making process to, to come to that outcome. And it's the same is let's say there's this, there's this fault light that's just come up on the front of the panel saying that a fault has happened on this pump. What is your elimination process to get to come to the, the outcome or diagnose the problem? You know, what is, how do you think through this problem? That's really what they're they're looking for. And, you know, they're not looking for you to be 100% perfect, but they want to see that you're making log logical decisions and that you are, you're communicating this in a confident way with understanding. So it's like certificates, they feel safe, they feel comfortable, but the reality is, you know, they take a long time to acquire. I was talking to someone today, and I've been through this myself. You spend hours and hours, years and years, learning things that don't actually apply in the real world. You know, so you go through this process, you do, do an HNC or MVQ or whatever, but then when you're faced with an actual real world problem on site, or someone is asking you, how do you work through this problem? Like the physics, the maths, all of that shit that you learn in college, it doesn't actually apply in the real world. So it's a complete waste of time, practically speaking, but it feels nice to have that certificate, you know. And also the other part of this is actually selling yourself. Um, and that comes, it's so much easier to sell yourself when you actually have real world, genuine understanding, which leads to real, genuine confidence in your technical ability, specifically when it comes to these real world examples, because you're not going to have that. If you've just done the theoretical stuff, you know, in college that doesn't apply in the real world, like it's, it's preposterous to think that that would actually give you confidence or enough confidence to sell yourself in the interview or even when you're speaking to a client, because clients can smell it if you're not confident, they will straight away you will give them a sense that you don't know what you're talking about. There's doubt there. You're not speaking with, you know, absolute certainty. And why should you? So it's like, really, it's just delaying getting to where you want to get to. If what you really want to do is get into the industry, college, traditional college, learning stuff that doesn't apply is just delaying, delaying getting to where you want to get to. And if it was, if that was all it was, certificates, qualifications, you know, most engineers, most electricians would already be in higher pay, paid roles, you know, with specialist, in specialist roles, but it's not because they're not because they don't actually have the, the skill set, the higher value skill set. And that doesn't come from, you know, certificates, qualifications. And if you're looking for some real world training for free we've actually got a free community um where i've done a load of free training schematics control panels the path to take you know from where you start with schematics and you build all the way up to plc programming um if you want that free training there's a link in the description so like if you are an electrician an engineer a technician like you already have like 80 percent of what's needed especially if you've been working on site for a while the missing 20% though is not more certificates, more qualification. It's clarity. It's hands-on practical understanding that leads to confidence and then enables you to sell yourself, whether it's to a hiring manager or whether it's to an end client, in your communication. So ultimately it all comes down to 
to confidence. So yeah, that's it for today. See you later.